No. Okay. Not, not doing so that. every week we're gonna get pizza and we're gonna keep adding one more topping. <laughs> no. You <laughs> know. Mushrooms. Sweet Zuma. What's going on here? Uh, <clears throat> his neighbor helped him put a belt on, which kind of confuses me because there's not a belt on this scooter. And then all this stuff, it should be like on the spine or something. He paid his neighbor, who was probably a mechanic. I wouldn't let my neighbor work on my scooter. So it's his boss diameter here. See that? Yeah. You're about four or five hours, probably. Don't buy the wrong parts. Yeah, big expensive mistake. Aloha Friday. Tech tip. Make sure to shine up your tires. I want this so bad. I want a Riva, Paul. Paul's, Paul's exotic foods. Okay, dip it in there all the way. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Teo Teo 50, looks like NCY makes a couple good exhausts. They make, uh, they're both stainless. Okay, okay, so Paul will only get pepperoni and spinach pizza, which I don't even know how you eat spinach because you hate vegetables. So no, what I'm asking, really good. what I'm asking you to do is go out on a limb and pick one more item on your pizza and I will go in on it with you. Otherwise you're gonna get it for yourself. I'll go in on it with you if you pick one more item, All right. okay? Mm -hmm. And it can't be extra cheese or extra spinach. Pineapple. No. Okay. Not, not so that. every week we're gonna get pizza and we're gonna keep adding one more topping. Well, or, or could we just do different toppings no. instead of? Because I don't want a pizza that has like eight different things. On it. <laughs> okay. What 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 do you think, Paul? What are you gonna add? Uh, I'm gonna look at what they have. Run the schmiza. Because you literally pizza. get the same thing every single time. They have a lot of options. <clears throat> Mm. Steak strips, spicy chicken, chicken, salami, beef, meatballs. Ooh, olives are good, Paul. I don't do olives. You don't do anything. Uh, Spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> Mushrooms. Ooh, tomatoes are good. Broccoli. Mm. Good lord. Mm -hmm. What if we got spicy chicken with peppers? Squash. Mm. No. Jalapenos. Ooh, yeah. That would probably be pretty good. That'd probably be pretty mm. good. Okay. Mm. You want to do jalapenos? Yeah. Oh do yeah. They have like buffalo sauce to put on this. We're too. gonna be breathing fire out of our beef holes later, especially with pizza schmizza with that combination. It's a beef hole burner. You're gonna do jalapenos? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Spicy chicken. Okay, okay. So you got two probably things. goes. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Well, I mean, spicy chicken is pretty normal. Okay, let's give it a shot. Did, do they have like spicy sauce to we're go We're gonna do spicy top? chicken and we're gonna do jalapenos. We're gonna be in trouble. Yeah, let's okay. just do it. Okay, do, you okay. do, do you wanna do a small, a medium, or a large? Let's just do a large. Large. Let's just do it. It's so expensive. Let's wreck our bodies today. Sweet Zuma. What's going on here? Uh, <clears throat> his neighbor helped him put a belt on which kind of confuses me because there's not a belt on this scooter. <laughs> um, but they, this nut shouldn't do that. It, it kind of just, is, it's like free spinning now. It's uh, not stock like that? No. And then all this stuff, it should be like on the spine or something. It just kind of spins on there now. And then the variator does the same thing too. It's like one of those phones, like, like when you see in like a really uh, low star hotel, and like you, you gotta type the numbers like this. You understand how a rotary phone works? Uh, I, I get the concept, I've never used one, I don't know how to actually operate one. Oh, okay. But you, you do the... What's gonna all need to be done? Literally everything. Okay. Tell it's me. Gonna need a crank, more than likely. Okay. I want to get this nut off, which is what I want to do now. Rosuma. So you're telling me that you shouldn't just have your neighbors work on your bike? Make your own decisions, bro. I'm not. I'm not gonna tell people what to do. I'm, I wouldn't let my neighbor work on my scooter. We thought that all the splines were gone, and while they are not, the the threads are pretty uh, messed up there. Cause he used the wrong nut. Don't, don't let your neighbor put an impact driver to your scooter. <laughs> to your crank. To your crank, specifically. Back here would be okay. This is a customer's bike. We're just gonna touch base on this real quick. We've done service work to this bike. Uh, never really done anything in here. He paid his neighbor, who was probably a mechanic, to 
put put a variator on his bike. Well, Amazon or eBay or whatever sells you a Zuma variator, they send him a Jog 90 variator. Be really careful with what you guys are buying online because this is not right. So see this boss diameter here. See that? Okay. Wrong. The neighbor put it on, which was not the right size, of course. And then he used a hardware store nut. Now keep in mind, guys, most of hard hardware store stuff is like grade eight, which is really hard. For this nut, <laughs> you always need the factory nut because it's gonna be softer than the steel on the spline. What's going on here is he probably used, this looks like some, I don't know, hardware store nut, right? Well, he drove it on there, tightened it up, stripped out all the threads, threads are gone. This thing is, there's no way to repair this crank. If you use the factory nut, it's made to be softer steel, that way you're less likely to strip out your crank. So you guys, don't use hardware store, Home Depot, whatever, don't use their hardware on your cranks, on your clutches, any of that stuff, because this one here and this one here, if you use a hardware store nut and you over tighten it, you're gonna damage your threads and your toast. This guy probably paid his neighbor to do this work. Now, the whole entire motor has to come apart. He needs a new crank. Obviously, he's gonna get bearings, seals, and he's gonna do a top end kit because you gotta take it all apart anyway, so you gotta replace it. Something like this in the bike, just the motor portion of it, take the case apart, split it, get your starter stuff, I'll put back together, clean it first because it's dirty. You're about four or five hours probably. Um, and I don't know the extent of what, because Paul's writing him up an invoice. I don't know what to what extent he's doing with every other component. He may be doing big board kit, he may be doing a bunch of other things, right? But once this motor's out and, and sitting, you know, sitting out here for the work, by the time you split it, do the crank, bearing seals, reassemble it, pressure test it, it's about three hours, right? Then you've got probably, you know, half an hour to get it out of the bike, 20 minutes to clean the motor, you know, half an hour to an hour to put it back in the bike, and then you gotta test it, tune it, ride it, do all that stuff. So he's looking at a pretty healthy bill to fix this. Don't buy the wrong parts, okay? Oftentimes if they're listed for your bike and you're buying it from an Amazon, eBay, or whatever seller, we see it all the time, 100cc GY6 kit, 100cc Honda Dio kit, right? Oftentimes it's not right. They're just selling you whatever they want to sell you because they're in China and they think that you're going to buy it and you're never going to file a claim, whatever. Um, that's just, uh, that's that's the world we live in with the products you're buying. So a lot of stuff you're getting is from China. Um, yeah, big expensive mistake. So lesson learned here, don't buy things off Amazon and eBay if you don't know what you're buying. Don't pay your motorcycle mechanic or your auto mechanic or your neighbor to do the work if they're not familiar with CVT. And scooters, we see it every day. These mechanics are breaking things. These are not complicated. They're not complex. They're different. And it's different from a car. It's different than from a motorcycle. And they don't, uh, these guys don't understand that. I've seen them grease everything in here. I've had them ask if they need to fill this area with oil. There's just a lot of people that shouldn't be working on these bikes. Not that they're not uh, good mechanics, but this is not familiar to their field of work. That's it. I'm done. Uh, we're gonna fix this bike now. Thanks guys. Just out here getting some straps. Right in the tweaker go pad. Paul, Im imagine, imagine it's the guy oh, that was wow. hitting on your girl. Just hitting on my girl. That's uh, can you recycle that? Wow. Kick that like you kicked it him in the head. That's like home Take home your home. anger out on it. That's home right there. Come on! Oh, give me the tech tip of the day. Uh, it's not it's not Friday, but Aloha Friday. Tech tip, make sure to shine up your tires with tire shine. And then also label your spark plug location in case you need to change your spark plug and you forget. This thing is so fresh. I want this so bad. I want a Riva, Paul. Yeah. Cause I want to lower it and put a cool motor in it with the pinstriping on it. So we're going to start a new, Just trying new section foods. and it's going to be Paul's trying new things. Uh, -huh. so uh let's, let's say, this. what do we want to call it? What? Paul's, uh, 
Uh, we'll let Pat figure that out. Paul's we'll put, like, a food title, like, exploration. Right Paul's. I don't know. Just try uh, it. Just okay, see. I think you should try it without first. Yeah. It's like candy. It is pretty much candy. Oh, man. See? I got it. Some okay. chocolate on it. What is it? Low end food, high end taste. <laughs> Paul's is not have high end taste. Okay. Yeah, they do. Okay. 100%. Yep. All right. I like that exotic. High end and Paul don't go. It's exotic. Go hand in hand. It doesn't have to be high end. It just has to be unique. Exotic. exotic. Paul's Paul's exotic foods. Right. Okay. There's now. a Japanese market by my house that has like cool sodas and stuff. Or okay. It's Chinese or Japanese. Some like. Oh, oh like, you're so racist. How? Dip it all. Like, well, all I don't, the way in there. It, it's like. It's it's words, but I can't read them. It's like, oh, that's one of those languages. <laughs> Dip it in there all the way. Yeah, a little more. No, no, no. No, that's good. That's, that's it? Good. Yeah, this stuff's pretty spicy. Okay, give it a shot. Oh, man. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you supposed to do it again? They give it, okay, after you're done... Give it a okay. All I want is a brief description of the of it. If you think about it, compile it, aftertaste, and then a pulse score. Okay, so you get right off the bat, it's all buffalo sauce, right? <laughs> Just straight straight <laughs> spice, which is pretty good. But the texture kind of throws you off. No, once you're like halfway done chewing it, it, turns into like blueberry candy bar. Um, so it's pretty unique. I still have a so little. I have, I have like spice in the back of my mouth and blueberry in the front. So it's layered. Yeah, it kind of it's kind of okay. like like a two stage. Can I try it again before I give it a score? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yep. I'll do the next one, okay? <laughs> it's so weird. Um, Cause like um, when it when you're chewing it, it's like it it it's like a three, right? Yeah. Three out of ten. Then it kind of goes up to six. And you're like, what? No, it's a three. <laughs> it's a three. three it's a three. Ten. Okay. What's a ten? Just so people know your scale. Dude, I don't know. What's what's like really good pizza that Strom bought us that day? That, that place was pretty good. Where's that's like pizza. No, but, but what would you rate it at? Oh, that pizza. That's like a seven. What's a one? Like a piece of broccoli or something? Broccoli's not too bad. Um, seafood. Celery. Seafood uh, and celery. Celery's just like. I can't, I can't do seafood. Celery's like crunchy just water. Just the smell makes me sick. Okay. Okay, so that was a three. Yeah, okay, and that it, was a it, Luna bar with so buffalo it really, sauce. It really wants. It really wants to be higher. It wants to be like a six or seven, but my <laughs> body just. It's like. What are you thinking? No, it's a three. <laughs> this is a three. Okay, so give this it a three score. All right, I'll do the next one. Then John, we'll just start going in try this? rotation. No, I'm good. Are you sure? I'm positive. Three. No, you eat it. You, you earned it. Okay. 